cut off an ear or something, hop a carpet and fly to another Arabian ripoff. Good times. This is how the story of Aladdin all began. As fate would have it, he found a lamp that had a mighty genie living deep inside. Whoever held the lamp commands him, and Aladdin wished for the princess as his bride. Rub the lamp, Aladdin. I have like four versions of this stupid thing. Good Times Aladdin must be like my favorite movie ever. But hey, this is the video exclusive never seen in theaters. I love that they put that on there like it's a bragging point. Guess this was before they settled on the lie tagline of the virgin children love. This is another earlier Golden Films production, meaning it does have versions that still have the American Film Investment Corporation branding on it. And kind of interestingly, the VHS tape and box still have this branding on them, despite the fact that the opening was modified on this release to have the Good Times Golden Films one. Or that's not interesting to you at all. This Aladdin came out in 1992, same year as the Disney one. Joe Kyrie was even quoted as saying, if Disney is going to put all this money into theirs, what better time to put out their version? Well, he's not wrong, but this did lead to the second time Disney sued Good Times. The first time was over their Beauty and the Beast VHS, which I mentioned in that review, but they sued them again over Aladdin. Even though Good Times had marked it as their version like the judge told them to from the first lawsuit. Disney didn't win at all this time, though Good Times still revised their Aladdin cover a little bit with the same style and GT border that they'd use for all their clamshell VHS cash-in tunes from this point on. Good morning, noble sir. A most pleasant day, is it not? Teenage Mutant Ninja Aladdin, wish her in a lamp shell. Well, besides the kind of obvious fact that Aladdin is being voiced by Cam Clark, some of the other voice actors have been identified, despite none of them actually getting credit on these Golden Films ones. So, we've also got Jeff Bennett as the genie, Corey Burton as the sultan, and Candy Milo as Fatima. And kind of funny, every one of these actors identified provided a voice in the Disney Aladdin TV series, and three of them were in one of the Disney Aladdin films as well. Corey Burton was even a couple of voices in the first Disney Aladdin movie, so he had a lot of Aladdin going on in 92. And kind of bizarrely, Cam Clark did provide the voice for Aladdin in a Disney production later, Mickey's Fun Songs Beach Party at Walt Disney World. Hey kids, the fun's not over yet! I'm sure no one really thought of this, but I love the fact that Disney sued over a version of Aladdin with Cam Clark voicing him, then, albeit quite briefly, had him provide that voice in one of their productions later. Though, I think most remember Cam Clark as man in the TV series when it comes to Aladdin material. Rub the lamp, Aladdin. Rub the lamp and see. Rub the lamp, Aladdin, and set the genie free. No. 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 Well, as exciting as it's going to be to see if Aladdin rubs one out or not, we're going to have to wait. First, we got to see our very white Aladdin get turned away from buying some apples and oranges. Apple and orange peddlers were very selective about their clientele because the difference between a good and bad customer was like the difference between apples and oranges. Oh, whoa, this guy's got fish rotten out in the sun. Everyone crowd around. Our Jafar of this Aladdin is named Hasim and has jaundice. He's meeting with the old mumbly witch lady Fatima to find a little boy. You know, like he usually does. You seek a certain boy. You will not forget our bargain. A half share of the fortune he brings me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there really is nothing funnier than reiterating a deal. The name of the child you seek is Aladdin. What a twist! I thought for sure it'd be Pinocchio this time. 
Alain gets picked on by the classic cabbage boys. Give me that cabbage! Have you ever seen a jewel such as this? I'm sorry if I've offended his highness. Though they might actually just be upset because they all have to share a voice actor. Which I'm glad wasn't British this time. Pfft, British Aladdin. So silly when we all know Aladdin was American. Shit! Shit! Holy shit! Did you really think you could be the ninja master? Oh! The thought had crossed my mind. Jafar then shows up to say he's a Aladdin's unky like usual. I guess hearing Aladdin's name was all he needed to immediately find him. Maybe Fatima bugged Aladdin's cabbages and that's how Jafar knew what random alleyway he was in. Oh, I'm so happy you're here, Uncle. Not nearly so happy as I am. Because I love the animation cells sliding off center showing garbage area at the top. I am a wealthy and successful man. That's how I was able to afford a fruit bowl and some rocks for you to eat. The three palm trees which grow as one. The camel made of stone. Yes, yes, this is the place. Do you really need the palm trees of wonder as a marker when you've got that ridiculous camel rock there? But this looks like an ordinary place to me, Uncle. Oh yeah, I can't tell you how many rock formations I've seen that perfectly form camels. So ordinary. Burn, fire, burn! Let your heat prepare the earth that I might pull forth the prize. Something tells me this was not a game played by my father, and that my uncle huh, is not my uncle at all. Of course! He said something weird around the fire! He's no uncle! Why bother building anything when Aladdin can just come to conclusions apropos of nothing? The treasure will be mine! <laughs> How long is Aladdin gonna shrug back there? I mean, really? What sort of magic is this? Powerful magic. Dare not to try and resist it. Might make sense to still pretend to be nice there, Jafar. He hasn't actually gotten you the lamp yet, bozo. You're not my uncle! Oh, he's like, really not his uncle now! But I'm gonna let you in on a secret, Aladdin. Sometimes people have evil family members. Being an uncle and evil are not mutually exclusive things. Apparently, Jafar's magic is rather weak, so instead of just revealing the cave, he and Aladdin still have to move the Safe of Wonders to reveal the entrance. In this cave lies a priceless treasure. You alone can claim it. I will take half. You shall have the other half. This is something I can live with. Jafar gives Aladdin the one ring to rule nothing, which has the power of absolutely nothing. There's no genie in it, and Aladdin never uses it. I don't know why they brought up the ring at all. Y you're sure about this? I'll tell you one thing I am sure of. If you don't get down there right now, I'm going to- All right, all right. By constantly threatening you, I ensure your disloyalty. I'm an idiot. Also, it would seem a rather empty threat when you just told Aladdin you needed him to get this. Aladdin, help me pull open the stone. Aladdin, go down into the cavern. Aladdin, go get the lamp. Jeez, Golden Films sure loved saddling Cam Clark with woe is me characters, didn't they? Remember, don't touch anything! Oh man, how is Aladdin gonna resist the urge to impale himself on those spikes, though? Now this is what I call a garden. Right, inside this underground cavern is a sky. Makes sense. Can't wait until Aladdin finds the Golden Lagoon. We won. Hey, what's the idea? But uh, how did you know I was looking for the lamp? Wait a second, Aladdin touched the sacred deer. You sure live in a beautiful place here. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's perfect scoring there, fits so well.
Aladdin starts picking some jewel flowers and fills his sack, and I kept waiting for the squirrels and deer to turn evil or something, but nah. Greedy Aladdin just saunters out with his jewels. Apparently touching nothing but the lamp was just a suggestion in this one, not a rule. It's not until Aladdin mocks Jafar about not giving him the lamp that he gets sealed in the cave by him. But then he prays to the lamp for the genie to come out. Despite the song at the beginning singing about how Aladdin needed to rub one out, all Aladdin really had to do was slightly brush it with his hand. It is I, oh master, I the slave of the lamp. Do I really want to see this? Nope, guess not. This genie gets on my good side, though, when he tries to drown Aladdin with his tears. <laughs> well, Aladdin, do you know what you just become? Quick, genie, stop, old man! With pleasure, Aladdin Oh, shit. No! I'll make you useless next time, Aladdin! Ask anything, anything! How about we start with your getting rid of this flood? Luckily for him, Aladdin doesn't seem to have a number limit on his wishes in this one, because that would have kind of sucked to have burnt one on that. In actual moving the plot along wish news, Aladdin warps home. You think you've been worried? I've been stuck in a cave all day. Hasim! He lied to us. Yeah, that's the only thing that could have meant. I, I, I've got this magic lamp with a genie inside. He helped me to get out of the cave and- Magic is dangerous, Aladdin. Put the lamp away and don't think of it again. Magic lamp? You're grounded, Aladdin. Magic here, magic there. I don't like it. It's not done. Okay? Alas, your mother has forbid you to use the lamp. I'm stuck here again. Okay, I do rather like the genie grumbling through the lamp at Aladdin. Give her some time. She'll come around. In the meantime, at least we won't starve. <laughs> well, these won't get it all. Maybe we will starve. Ooh, <laughs> well, uh, and so, good son that he was, Aladdin obeyed his mother's wishes and put the lamp away. Suddenly, I'm narrating this. Aladdin. Get over here! The Sultan's daughter goes to the baths in the city square today. The penalty for looking upon the face of his daughter is death beneath the hooves of stampeding camels. Death beneath the hooves of stampeding camels? Who thinks up these things? Wow, this is the sassiest Aladdin. I kind of wonder why the Sultan's going to all this trouble to stop everyone from seeing what his daughter looks like. Like she's gonna look really mediocre, right? That's gonna be the twist. It seems a bit foolish if you ask me. Why, if anyone in the kingdom but you dared to call me foolish, I would have their head. <laughs> it's nice to know there are some advantages to being your daughter. <laughs> I would eat you if you want my daughter. But in a twist, she's really old Yellow Eye's daughter. What? <laughs> oh, kindest of the kind. Oh, wisest of the wise. Oh, oh, be still, Ali. My daughter comes to bathe, not to listen to your babble. Oh, of course. Oh, glorious one. She comes for bubbles, not babble. <laughs> <laughs> Ali is very funny. Bathhouse Ali, not so glorious, see, Alia, whatever. They haven't built the bathhouse Aladdin can't break into. Breaking into bathhouses is a common thing you do, Aladdin? Ali has the finest bathhouse in all the kingdom. This is a treat I have long looked forward to. Talk about a treat. She's, she's incredible. What the hell? Execute him! <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want to marry the Sultan's daughter? You could try to let your loser son down a bit more gently, Mrs. Aladdin. <laughs> oh, Aladdin, you are my only son, and I love you dearly, but... You are an idiot, ugly, and have no discernible skills. Well, maybe you'll change your tune when you see what I've hidden away all these years. Wait, years have gone by before Aladdin told his mother about the jewels? I thought he was going to get them food with them. What was he doing? Really eating them? up there? Have I raised a thief? 
fair assumption, I suppose, but she really doesn't think much of her son, does she? Now I ask you to use them to help me take Princess Layla for my wife. Of course, I do have a genie that could help me with that, but I wouldn't want to disobey you, unless, of course, it's to sneak into bathhouses and risk my life to perv on girls. Riches such as this could buy a kingdom. Surely they can get my son a wife. Or fix my eyes. Why do so many people in this movie have jaundice? Oh, man, all these poor people getting favors from the Sultan, and you can't even convince him to let me marry his daughter. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what good it is being the vizier's son. If you didn't know, it was kind of up in the air at first for Cam Clark and Townsend Coleman, which would be voicing Leonardo or Michelangelo, and I think we just heard what Cam's Michelangelo would have sounded like there. Oh, I do not believe it. I'm gonna lose a princess to the son of a beggar. Aladdin's mother asks the Sultan if it's cool that her wiener boy and the princess hook up and gets big laughs until she pulls out the family jewels. Oh. These are fine jewels. I didn't realize you had money. Of course, take my daughter. Mike Inardo's father, the bland vizier, ups the bidding price for knockoff Jasmine, but Arabian Bay really sucks and you still apparently lose your bid even if you also lose the auction. We have lost the jewels as well. The magic lamp? Please, mother. Don't tell me not to use it. Perhaps now is the time for magic. There's no real strong convictions in this movie, is there? Come on, Genie. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. The princess isn't a real person. Let's just keep acting like she's an object to be won or bought. At last I can make myself useful. Now, what is it you want, O oh Master? Much, Genie. Very much. Not very specific, but it's a start. All right, I gotta admit, Jeff Bennett's genie does have some pretty funny lines in this. What is that? I ordered no music to be played. Prince Leonardo Cowabunga, he's better than Mike Leonardo. Who is this man? I believe he is to be your husband, my dear. Look at all the money that it's implied he has. Marry that idiot, and then you can meet him later. Bummer, dude. And so, Aladdin and Princess Layla were married. Cool, they'll talk to each other after the wedding. It's a better story that way. As wedding gift, Aladdin had the genie of the lamp build them a palace. Wow, that sure was a generous wedding gift Aladdin gave himself. Aladdin had the palace built near the city, so Layla would not grow lonely for her father. Yeah, I bet she'd really miss, mister. I'll sell you to the highest bidder. Here, Aladdin and his princess lived in splendor. <laughs> hmm. They grew more in love with each passing year. Soon, they even thought of saying hi to each other. So, the boy discovered the secret of the lamp, did he? I can't believe when I locked him in that cave with a magic lamp, eventually he figured out it was magic. I'll have that lamp yet. Hey, genie, kill Jafar, would ya? What? <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> He can shoot laser beams? Why does he need the lamp to get rich? Don't you worry when Aladdin goes off on these hunting trips? No, it gives me hope every time that he won't come back. Trade your old lamps for new ones! Well, luckily Aladdin told his wife of years now about his magic lamp. Oh wait, never mind, they don't talk and Aladdin is an idiot, so Layla trades the shit out of it. I am your new master, and you will obey me! Okay... <laughs> yeah... I guess that's the best reaction to give to that. Jafar does his usual steal Aladdin's palace and move it to his homeland shtick, complete with assume his wife will just bang whoever has the deed to the place. And the Sultan takes his daughter's disappearance quite well. Oh, your majesty, Fatima the medicine woman begs to see you. Anyway, Jafar apparently betrayed his business partner for no particular reason other than moving the story along so that Aladdin can know where to go and save his wife and talk to her for the first time. My mother remains here in this city to ensure my return. Do not fail. Your life, your mother's life, and that of my Layla depend upon it. He's a real fun father-in-law, that Sultan. 
Well, there was no reason for her to start talking to you now, was there? Can I be dreaming? No, you're not dreaming, Layla. Darn, 39 minutes in and words have been exchanged between the two of them. They ruined it. Anyway, it's gonna be really exciting to see how Aladdin gets the lamp. Eh, he just steals it from Jafar while he's sleeping and there's no resistance whatsoever. Aladdin! Shh! We need to be quiet even though I could just wish him to oblivion now. Who dares disturb the sleep of the master of the lamp? I've got bad news for you, Hasim. That gum you like will never come back in style. Anyway, because Aladdin is such a doofus, he doesn't make any kind of wish to imprison Hasim or make sure he can't bother them again, so he's just gonna come up with a new scheme. You have the nerve to come here asking for my help. I come not asking for your help. What is it you want, then? Your robes and veil. So he either just murdered or stripped her. That's nice. In the original story, there is something like this part with the sorcerer's brother coming to avenge him and he kills the old bat to dress up as her. So I'm glad there's a cartoon that finally included this. And Fatima never appears again, so score one for Jafard on the kill count. Maybe two. For were it not for you, I would still be captive. Oh, it's Jafar! I get it! Your child's health can be guaranteed if you will hang the egg of a rock from the ceiling of the baby's nursery. The plan here is so old dummy Aladdin will wish for the rock's egg from the genie because the rock is the genie's true master. This is actually something from the original tale too. It's just kind of weird that a giant bird would be the magical genie's ultimate master. Anyway, the genie lets Aladdin know about Jafar's cosplay, so he lures him into a sword battle instead of just making a wish to stop him. But at least this means a great final battle. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Then there's one last Jafar. In years to come, he proved the most generous of princes. And best of all, for this humble servant, wise Aladdin chose to build a royal bathhouse within the walls of the palace. Oh, the narrator wasn't the genie, it was that bathhouse guy we only ever saw once in a brief scene. Interesting choice? This is a pretty silly condensed version of Aladdin with a lot of motivation for characters kind of glanced over, but it's not one of Golden Film slash Good Times' worst. It's got some voice actors I like, and the genie has some funny moments, so that's at least, uh, something. Yeah, but on the other hand, I hate everything or something, so I'm gonna make a stupid wish! <laughs> Go. Yes, O oh master of the- You are not Aladdin. I am your new master, and you will obey me! Okay... Anyway, get me a rock egg. Anything would I grant you, O oh master, but I beg you not to wish this wish, for it shall mean your death. Yeah? Okay, well, do it! Okay... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a rock's egg. Really?
rip in peace, old bat. No one cared that you died. Okay. 